Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, with one of many videos available to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In this recording, we'll show you the options in Modify of the Pocket Recognition Geometry. After I've created a geometry, we have the option of Modify. If I click on Modify, we have several different fields that we can work with. First, you'll note that it shows you all of the geometries that were chosen, all the faces, as well as the open pocket that we have at the bottom over here. We'll start from our first field of through pocket delta. If you note, we have one through pocket over here. Now, the depth of this cut will be all the way down to that very edge over there. If we want, we can have it go a little further past that edge. If we go to through pocket delta, and for example, put in a value of 1, you'll note that it'll go past that edge by 1 millimeter. If I were to write minus 1, it'll actually go in the opposite direction and leave 1 millimeter at the bottom. I'm going to put in here a value of 1, so that goes past that edge over there. In our next field, we have fillets. Well, let's see exactly what this means. If we take a look at this particular part, you'll see that in these three pockets, as shown over here, we have fillets in the corners. What pocket recognition does, it'll automatically create a step walking over those fillets so that you do not have to worry if you're going to go in with a sharp tool and machine those fillets. Now, how do we actually control the fillets? Well, we control it in steps. And we also have complete control of number of steps. For example, if I were to click on number of steps, you'll note first that it shows us a maximum fillet radius of three millimeters. In other words, it recognizes what's the maximum radius that we have on all our fillets. And it'll show you that our minimum radius up until our maximum radius, from zero to three millimeters, you will do all of them having one step over. And in a moment, we'll see exactly what that looks like also. Now, if I wanna break it down a little more, I can check my next box over here. This will do the following. Note the three maximum radius jumps down to our next field and it divides this field into two. In other words, from zero radius to one and a half millimeter radius corner, it'll do that in one step. And anything above that from one and a half to three, it'll do that in two steps. I can break it down even more. Say I have zero from one and a half, one step, one and a half to two and a quarter in two steps, and 225, two and a quarter to three in three steps. If I click on OK, the result at the very end will look like this, where I have a small step of, say, one millimeter. It'll only do one step over that radius where I have above that, but less than two and a quarter, it'll do that in two steps. And my next one will do that in three steps as shown over here. Now, if I was working with a bullnose tool that already had a three millimeter radius on it, I can also say ignore floor fillets. When the tool goes down, it'll actually ignore the fillet, so the tool will go directly down all the way to the end. Now, let's look at our next filter, exclude top faces. When it recognizes the surfaces, it includes the very top surface of the part itself as well. If you do not want to machine the very top surface, because you may have done that already with a face mill operation, all you have to do is click on exclude top faces. By doing that, all the top faces will not be included 
inside this geometry, thereby not machining any of those top faces. By clicking on preview, this will show us exactly the borders where it's going to be machined to. For example, if we took take a look at our through pocket delta, we put an extra value of one millimeter, you can see that's going to go down one millimeter past that surface over there. You can see also inside the radiuses that we have different steps inside the radiuses there as well. One last note is that you can see all our geometries over here. Note there are ones that are not checked off. The ones that are not checked off happen to be the exclude top faces, the top faces of the part. If I were to take away the check mark from exclude top faces, you'll see that they will return. Clicking again on exclude top faces will get rid of the check marks. In other words, every single check mark that's here represents a different face that you want to machine. And if you do not want to machine a specific face, you can always uncheck it so it would not machine that face. For more videos on SolidCam Professor, please go to our website www.solidcam.com and look for the tab called SolidCam Professor. Thank you for joining us on SolidCam Professor. Take care and have a nice day.